All right, so here we are. <laughs> What's going on, my fellow Cosmos? It's great to be here with y'all yet, yet again. We can get right back around the table as well to enjoy a very special, nauseating <laughs> belly ache I like to call AEW. And I guess it's a new pay per view tonight. I know they said like what uh their AEW. Gosh. So you, you know, I got. I think uh, uh, Tony Khan is. Uh, I uh, saw or heard something like they by doing multiple pay- like how WWE does, like how you have, of course, um, pay per views throughout the year. So, but so yeah, I probably. So I believe uh, Wrestle Dream is like uh, the first of many. Yeah, of course, yeah, to, to start, uh, but they're starting to expand. <laughs> well, not in reality, but. As you know what I'm trying to say, but all right, all right so <laughs> I can only probably say I'm going to be watching this. Also, I also want to make note that I'm kind of wa- I'm watching these, especially when it comes to AEW. But I think good enough, I, I like Peacock. When it comes to Peacock, I don't even know anymore. Well, I will be like I'll be paying for my own because just <laughs> you know I had Peacock strictly for the fuck my you know of course what I grew up with, the Roof Rufus Aggression era, of course the. Uh, the other eras that everybody was so used to being so love with, you, you know, used to be doing the, you know wrestling was cool, but yeah, that's the only reason I have Peacock. Of course, I think I said this before is why, but yeah, as far as AEW fucking goes, I will be strictly yeah watching them on sites, you know, <laughs> watch you know, <laughs> viewing watching sites. So yeah, fuck that. Uh, you know, close to a hundred dollars, half uh, <laughs> pennies out my wallet to uh, throw at AEW. Yeah, they probably had to get get a sky blue. We had to get on her knees first. <laughs> but yeah, like I pray for the especially because I know he won. He's I just heard he paid like fifty dollars and he did a lot of yeah he did a lot of shit to sacrifice as he all yeah get on him. But uh, yeah, the prayers is up for him. Tonight, for him to, him to have a smooth night, but and I hope this is like, uh, yeah, they better throw this shit away because this, this this is going to be one of those pay per views. But they, yeah, they but Tony Khan, he better rank this shit out of his asshole. Be like, I tell, I tell you, I, I tell you now, and I can't wait. Like I said I can't wait for the, the other boy, but I tell you now, I'm rip this shit to pieces. Whew, like all these fucking matches. <laughs> like I said, like when it comes to these wrestlers, you know, you know, it's just so about the fucking work rate and you know getting the, getting the shit into the matches. So it's all about it's, you know it's all about flipping it in the air, grab you know wrestling wrestling each other in baby oil. It's all about that shit. But when it comes to shove, when when it's time to play, to, uh, of course you get fucking botches. You get botches. You get injuries. <laughs> but they're so-called wrestlers. These are so-called professionals. <laughs> you can miss me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can miss me with that shit. But yeah, let's be going. Get into Russell Dream. <laughs> like I said, you know, ups. I, I hope he gets a lot of views for all. And also, my, for my boy tonight, that's doing it. He just paid fifty dollars to watch it as well. But we gonna get into Russell Dream. <laughs> I, so I'm just uh, becoming enamored with TikTok. So kind of messed up on the, uh, but. My uh, also review is uh, No Mercy NXT. I just did that last night, so you can view that too. But let's get into Wrestle Dream already. It's about to start, and yeah, let's uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Tell me, they better blow me the fuck away. They better give me my time's worth because still, because I'm still waste. I'm still here and still taking the time. I gotta go to. I got business to take care of. Back to tomorrow. So I'm telling you. They start off with MJF. We getting, we getting right kicked right into MJF in the righteous. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had a uh, suspicion, of course, that this wasn't going to continue on for uh, very long. Oh, I apologize if I sound out of breath because I just uh, w- went to go do my clothes a little bit <laughs> and jogged a little bit. So, but yeah, they start off with uh, yeah, it's basically a two, of course, two one uh, two on one handicap because as we know, Cole. Got injured, so whether yeah, whether the storyline or not, yeah, Cole's injured, he's out. So yeah, of course it wasn't gonna uh, be in that. They could have, but I, I had a feeling that of course they were gonna. This is probably gonna be if Cole was here tonight, 
it, uh, it probably wouldn't have went on for much longer. But it was a yeah, it was a good match. <laughs> of course, uh, MJF can do it all. And you know, at this point, we uh, especially from as from that uh, Danielson with the AW Revolution match that we knew MJF can hang. He can do his own in the ring. So yeah, it was pretty good. I write it off to I write it off to like a, like a couple of stars. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was good. It was good. It was good. I guess for just to uh, get the uh, the blood pumping, or just to get kickstarted into the show. But yeah, but, uh, yeah. It probably would have let this go on if it was the Cole was there uh, tonight. But yeah, it was too. Long. It's not like they could have. Of course, I mean we have like handicap matches before, but yeah, I guess uh, you know. Like I said, like I said, like if you know. Hey, I'm, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I don't want it the show to be that long either. So, and it's AEW, so we already know what we get we getting tonight, or you know, you already you're, you you know the menu, <laughs> what you're getting with AEW. <laughs> so you know, I, I, you know, so so by even call me, <laughs> you know, racist for this one. Uh, uh, I mean, he kind he kind of does look like. It. So as I'm like looking at the uh, match card. Of course, as you see right here, and I just like, yeah, the Japanese dude, he does, I don't know if y'all know, but y'all know, like, in the early 2000s, too, I think he would probably star, like, a, he, a lot of them, but he, uh, he was in the Fast, he was in, the, like, the first Fast and Furious, and, like, yeah, this Chinese dude, he, I don't know what he was, but, yeah, this, uh, this Japanese actor, you know, <laughs> yeah, he looks, uh, what is, yeah, because I, I know I'm gonna fucking butcher his name, but it's, uh, so I'll call him, I think I can, I think I can do, like, Shibata, his last name, but he kind of looks like that, yeah, he kind of looks like, I don't know if y'all know, of course, this generation, too, I know it's a new, <laughs> of course, a new, uh, probably new kids out there, too, but, uh, y'all had to, had to watch the first, uh, by now, too, Fast and Furious, and, yeah, he, <laughs> he reminds me, because you had the triads, too, in there. The first one, yeah, he's, like, one of, like, the head, the head, like, marshals and just, like, something like that. And, yeah, that's who, that's who this, like, this wrestler reminds me of. He looks like the Japanese dude from the first, uh, Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, of course, man. You know what? Y'all know, you know what? Because I kind of relate, too. I, I see this all the time with, uh, it was, but it's, like, this is why I hate, because, uh, now I just have still too, but I understand why I try to like avoid going back to watch old wrestling. You know, my, what, what I grew up with, you know, the like the Attitude Era and as such, because because it used to be so how we, we how we good used to fucking have it. That's how good we used to have it. It's like if I go back and like, <laughs> let's say I'm cool, of course when I get the time, but let's like I try to I, I understand too why, especially lately I try to avoid to watch it. I just figured that out too. I just hate yeah. I just fuck it. It just and I know if if well yeah if he does uh if uh, you know Devontae now you know millennial if he probably watch me and I don't know if he does, but uh I know he 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 see me because I've been in his comment section, but uh. Uh, yeah, because like I said, I be getting what he's saying because I just fucking, I hate going back to watch, uh, like, past, like, you know, past wrestling because we saw how fucking good we, we really did have it fucking good. You know? And it's just like to see it now to become this marquee, just this nerd geek shit. <laughs> like I said, I, it's just my opinion. I know how you might figure that it's, of course, we all have our different answer and what we like. But I'm being realistic, bro. This shit is it's just gay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just it's what it is. And it's just like like just the whole like probably like basically the whole match just fucking chop, of course chopping each other because that's what we need. And that's probably a what it's thing in probably like MP especially over in Japan or you know, whichever. And I, I'm already sick enough by that by fucking of course like uh, just like the fucking super kick, another move that's overused. Everybody wants to be a fucking. Everybody wants to be like Ric Flair, and, or in everybody wants to fucking overuse like the chops. Like it's, I, I hate seeing that shit. It's so fucking annoying. It's just you ever almost every match, especially AEW, you see fucking just chop matches. And it's like I was bad enough. I always see go oh, kick. Okay, it's a Gunther match. I, oh yeah, he's gonna. But I, I almost all expect that to see that now. It's always fucking chops. It always is like it's just <laughs> this whole match just fucking chops, chop here, chop there, and fucking you know roll ups, 
and of course, like, so, like it's just so so fucking murky. That's what it's so it is it's so fucking murky. I can't stand it. But yeah, it's like you <laughs> pretty much know. Yeah, I could get fucked about this match. <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. Just like that's the market shit alive. It's just telling me basically, yeah, what what's more, to basically signaling what's more to come. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Julia Hart and Chris Statlander. Oh, oh shit, okay. Well, yeah, I understand because that, yeah, this is a great match, yeah. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, this, uh, because I know also, yeah, because, like, uh, yeah, before the match, I don't, she, yeah, Julia Hart also, I don't know if that's a part of her arsenal, but, wow, it, yeah, she does a lose salt too. Once again, it's <laughs> pretty fucking better than how Charlotte does it. Wow, <laughs> that's uh, like, and yeah, I feel, I definitely understand to where uh, you know, my some people might like her. Like I said once again, I, I haven't really watched it enough, like, cause like, when they, uh, especially like the AEW lower cards, they show a collision. But uh, yeah, I'll try to. Well, I, have, I haven't been watching her lately, <laughs> and uh, last I could be kind of well a little bit off of wrestling since that, like a little bit for a little bit. But yeah, she's uh she was good. So they were yeah they went out they uh they were great tonight. Yeah, that was a great match right there. I, I feel like if Julia, cause like I said, I'm I'm thinking I, I'm gonna become to also like her too, Julia Hart, cause I feel like she yeah she also has some undiable uh t potential, and I can uh see that yeah she kind of like yeah what she's doing is she she's taking that to, uh and, and trying to really craft it. So yeah, get on her and uh, like I said I hope greater greener pastures for her too. Like I said I don't know about Chris Statlander. I don't know, the TBS championship looks like, especially to, come to Tony, it just, it's just a fucking prop, so I don't, really, I'm not probably, especially Chris, like, right, really not going to care about that, and uh, <laughs> Chris, Stat Chris Statlander, because I already know Tony is not going to do anything with it, so, but yeah, uh, yeah, they were, uh, it was a great, definitely great match, and I, and I see why, yeah, Julia Hart is start, starting to like her too, and yeah, maybe if, uh, yeah, she's uh, become a big star, I really get on, <laughs> Yeah, someday going forward, then yeah, I might uh come back and yeah watch this match too. But yeah, it was a great match. But let's get this over with with uh the four way tag team match. Being uh, can I say aren't they already champions? What uh the Young Bucks? And this is for a future title. I say I say why am I not surprised though? Being that the uh you know Bussy that snorts a lot of coke himself. You know Tony Khan that blows these two goofballs in the back. But I said it's not like it's not like I really give a fuck anyway. So yeah, it was X hard because I know uh yeah Swerve yeah Strickland and Hangman pa Adam Page get but it was this was a great match but. I don't, you know, when it comes to the ending, yeah, let's just uh, get the this, this, get the shit out the way. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, that was a that was a heck of a match. You see, if you, I, like I said, I I have, like I said, of course, I have my issues that I do, of course, when it comes to uh this generation of wrestling, and I was so primarily focused on. I feel like I have to, yeah, I pretty much had to say that every time. But like I said, if you uh. If you, yeah, if you, like, pretty much give me no choice, and if you, like, yeah, do it like a couple of things that stand out, and, you know, give me a match that should at least have me to react to something, then, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I said, man, yeah. <laughs> you might have to give me off my hands and feet, bro. So, man, I was just, it had, like, a, it was plenty, but, like, that's not, forgive me, I was, uh, I'm never, I was never really a match mark like that. I like matches, of course, but, like I said, I was never... Uh, really, that really into the matches, so I might not <laughs> know every move <laughs> when it comes, especially the, uh, now t too. But like I said, I'm not that. Uh, I know that when it comes to the basics, of course. But yeah, I'm not that enamored with uh, the moves and move sets and stuff like that. But yeah, they. Uh, I will say the couple. I feel like yeah, like because they they did this one with a spot where it was like outside of the apron, and he like I don't know what, but. Oh, I killed the steel steps, and it was like uh, I guess what it was. He was I don't know, I forgot what it was called. That Adam Page had did. That, I like that one too. And there was there was this other one that Swerve had did. And this shit was really <laughs> they took it to the heights. Okay, I said damn. 
Well, yeah, that was probably my favorite one. Uh, yeah, I had to say that when uh, Adam Page had uh, what did to what Swerve. I feel like it was a death. Yeah, what a death eye driver is what they kind of called it. But yeah, well, they got did plenty of spots that she, that I could like. But yeah, they had a couple that really stood out to me. But yeah, they really kicked fucking ass in this match. And I know I said I, I, I mean I would have gave it. Of course, I'm giving it five stars. I'm, no wait, I'm giving it four stars. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do that good, but uh, the reason for that, like, I, when it comes to the, uh, the, especially like if they they if they wind up pulling off a match like that, I, I will give them four stars because like, like I said, I like to reward, really reward, uh, really reward everything, all, every aspect involved. Like I said, when it comes to the wrestlers, the characters, uh, the story. Uh, everything surrounded it, but I mean it was good. They I kind of like that contract signing too, and I kind of like the it was. I mean they've been somewhat decent. Of course the Swerve too. Uh, he's definitely in my eyes now too. I definitely got my eye on him. Like I like I mentioned before. Yeah, Swerve. He's becoming his own. To, yeah, he's damn good. Uh, yeah, I got like I, I'm gonna have to watch him now too. See, I might even have to go back <laughs> to some of his matches because yeah, because he's yeah, oh shit, he's doing his thing. <laughs> and they, he really performed in this match too. Like God, holy, <laughs> boy, really, like yeah. They say y'all better give me my damn props, bro. Like oh wow, I feel like and he definitely needed that. I, ever since I feel like he left. Because, of course, we all need need our own paths to really show us we can really prosper and get to that the next level. But, yeah, I feel like every time, yeah, he definitely needed that. Like, ever since he left, of course, WWE would hit row. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> said, he definitely needed that because he's even better than he was, <laughs> you know, in ever now. So, but, yeah, this was a damn good match. They, uh, oh, shit, wow, it was one of those matches. And uh, I definitely uh, I had my time with it too, and you know, I said I would have gave it up tired. Like it was somewhat. Like I said when it comes to the story, and it was somewhat decent. Like and Swerve is uh, as good as he is. Of course, uh, when it comes to Dove Fuck Hub Page, wow, having so much hype, it it feels like he's like a complete just utter fucking jobber now. Uh, what they call it, Adam Page. Yeah, like, uh, I said, I knew the hype was just when it came to that. Yeah, fuck, like, <laughs> I know this fucking guy is just, the, of course, like, people liking him. Not that it's bad, but, of course, I know the pipe dream was uh, there, like, but, yeah, like, definitely, uh, when he was, there was all swerve. I mean, he did perform, too, but, for, uh, this, yeah, this was a damn good match to both men, regardless of how I feel, but, you know, for Adam Page, but, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Four stars. This was a worthy match. So we already know we're going to get one of those, uh, especially in the middle of the card, that's going to be, we have those matches where it just, uh, bath and break, or you just have to look at it, just uh, keep the filler, you know, keep the pay-per-view. Like, like, if that, like, because this, if that's the case, you just, like I said, this is what I ought to always to hate the shit about, especially when it comes to AEW. Because you don't need, to, then why is that? You don't need that many matches. Then just exclude it from, just like you have it too many pre-matches. Like, good, like, fuck. That's too fucking long. That's too many hours. That's just an overexertion, bro. Like, you don't many need this many matches on the damn card. But, so, but yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You can't, I can't really rate it because, you know, <laughs> they zoom right quick. And that's good. <laughs> so I don't want to be here that much longer. But yeah, pretty much you call it. Not really that much, cause uh, yeah, it was, it was whatever. It was, yeah, one of the, it was just the middle of the car and just just there to be there. I get it. You know, I get it. You know, for of course this generation, just like <laughs> you know, this is supposed to be. Yeah, this is like for for them is a dream match, but. I said, when it comes to Brian, definitely he's, he's going to go down as one of my all-time greats. But, and yeah, I definitely, uh, I could even say I like the recent work that he's been doing. As, of course, as, as discovered with, uh, you know, MJF, him being in a Blackpool Combat Club. So, I, you know, Brian is definitely a star and as such, you know. Uh, but I feel like people, they don't know the actual concept 
to what a dream match is, especially because, of course, Tony Khan, every fucking match is a dream match to Tony Khan, especially as the, to that AEW cuckold and that beer crowd. Every dream match is a match for them. And, I, you know, I don't mean any disrespect, but I'm just being, you know, I'm just being completely realistic right here. But, so, which is why, you know, I want to tell the people, you understand why it was such a dream match, especially for the Attitude Era kids and the you know the kids at the time when Cena was at the top when the Rock and you know when Rock and Cena went at it at WrestleMania, it's because it was two generations, eras, periods colliding, different. You know, it was like a time machine literally had you know had existed, and also a match that didn't happen also as well. But you know, pretty much people wanted it for the longest time. Undertaker versus Sting, because yeah, it was respective. Why they wanted that was because, you know, Taker being that he was from the WWE, the Dead Man, they were pretty much kind of similar too. But being that Taker, the Dead Man, the greatest of his game, the streak, and you know, just the eater of worlds, and but and that even the last outlaw, and Sting being that, of course, the one man army, and WCW, and as such, was why. You know, which is what you know. Other another thing, I guess that happened, which why people want also wanted Hogan and Rock, the new star of the Attitude Era, another of, of Attitude Era, against you know the the guy that basically basically gave rest pro wrestling its name, put it for you know in front of the world, which is why everybody clamored hard and was so welcoming for Hogan to come back and have that match at WrestleMania. Between Rock and Hogan, and I feel like I let me see. I'm trying to see if there's another match. Uh, uh, I don't know if there's, but I don't know. You, you see it. What I'm getting at here? Those are because those that right there. Those Rock and Cena, Rock and Hogan, and I know this is, there's other matches. As those are those are dream matches. That is what a dream match is. You know, I said whether y'all classify what a dream match. Like, you can do that. You can do for sure do that. But I, like I said, know the con- actual concept of what it is. But when it comes, to, like I said, I don't. <laughs> nobody knows who the fuck this guy is. And like I said, when it comes, because also like Kenny Omega, because I know he's like obsessed with Japanese culture and he likes to portray himself as such <laughs> and even rant at fucking people and call Americans this and that for, you know, as opposed to not respecting Japanese culture. But, uh, like I said, like, <laughs> like, what, who, does like, this Zach, this Zach Sabre dude, yeah, because he, yeah, he does look like he's white, but yeah, he's like he's, <laughs> well, British dude, but, like, he he's trying to be, you know, Asian or Japanese, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, here we go with that. Like I said, I love cultures, but uh, I feel like that is when you go to a little bit, just a little bit too far, bro. Yeah, it's not gonna, you know, translate as well. You know, this is, you know, this is not fucking virtual reality. You can't, uh, so, but yeah, let's, you know, you can call whatever a G match you want to call. But like I said, it wasn't all that. It just, it wasn't all that to me. It just wasn't. Just like how Brian, Brian Okada wasn't wasn't all that either. It was just just a, a just a simple spot fest match. Like I said, Brian pretty much did hear what I, what he did against Okada, and you know, like probably a few others too. Like I said, I feel like his definitely this match definitely ain't is one of his stinkers. Definitely ain't better than the match he had earlier this year with MJF at, at AEW Revolution. So that's it, and. Yeah, just like Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega. That shit was trash. Just a botch fest. And everybody was... <gasps> oh, 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 Omega and Ospreay. Oh, my dick is so hard. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> like, that's the, that's, the, that's the fucking mindset of... That's the, that's what wrestling is now. And I said... I don't, you know, we all... We, <laughs> it is whatever what it is, so I could really care or not. But yeah, it, the match, of course, just as I, I expected, wasn't going to be all fuck all that. 
And I said his last <laughs> his best match wasn't even couldn't even of course it wasn't gonna top his be- Brian's best match with MJF that happened earlier this year. So yeah, like <laughs> I said, it's cool that everybody may might probably saying that of course they're gonna say it's an instant classic, or I probably might probably he probably going to be disappointed when I'm talking about so. But yeah, this was just <laughs> yeah, it was uh, yeah, really a dud. Oh, let me just uh, yeah say something. Real first, quickly, <laughs> cause, I, cause I, I saw, yeah, I saw the clip. Yeah, I, I saw it earlier, and I think I saw the clip of uh, Omega taking the video. I think they were doing like a kind of like what, like a it's like a vignette promo, something like that, with uh, Takashita and uh, yeah, Don Gallus, and yeah, Omega of course had the phone, somebody zooming in. And recording uh Omega, how fucking unsee how unserious, because we have to make wrestling. Uh, of course, it's already as gay, how as gay and just whack it is now. <laughs> how just unserious and fun, but just re- whole fucking retarded that you have to make. These guys, they've been feuding for months. <laughs> And of course, you be it, you have to be together in public. When it comes to this generation, you know, fucking, you he, he have these dumbasses to go, like, okay, fam, it's dead. Would you give it up? Keep taking yourself seriously. How about you get, get the fuck over it, bro? Well, I said, there's still ways to keep kayfabe alive. You know, but then, and for like, for instance, like. It just goes to show you that just the fuck like how like just how completely it's one of the way things that I take like I like MJF because at least he still respects the craft and he yeah like and he like play he play he plays it up it's you know all not that much but into his character but of course of course how you know but how much these dumb fucks look when they're out in public just already of course just. Just making yourselves look more and more fucking dumb. Yeah, last I saw that clip, it's just yeah, what a fucking retarded Omega is. Retarded dumb fuck that Omega is. But yeah, of course this story was already trash enough to the way it panned out to me. Of course, when you're talking about, like I said, when it comes to the Sammy Garbera and the Chris Jericho, like I said, first it started from the uh, the dismantling of. Uh, what was the, yeah, cause, uh, Jericho Appreciation Society, and then it went from there. Of course, then you had uh, with the Don Callis and Omega betrayal, and him trying and making his own family. Of course, uh, Guevara, Sammy joined that. Well, I said just I said, yeah, it got, gotta be awesome. What you have more fitting too to have two, two shit stories come together, and yeah, of course the match. Yeah, too bad. Like I said, too bad. Too bad the match, the story, was shit. You know, wasn't good. It was in compared to the match, didn't measure up. So, like I said, yeah, the match did turned out to be good. But I said, oh, just also, just yeah, telling people that yeah, wrestling is, yeah, yes, yeah. Rest, this rub, rub to the face. Of, yeah, wrestling is gay and it is fake. This was a great match too. Huh. For sure, it's AEW tonight. Cause so yeah, so far they've definitely uh performed. And so far, so it's so t- good tonight. <laughs> Just gotta make that. Wow, I didn't even know. We'll, we'll talk about that in a sec. But yeah, this was a great, another uh great tag team match. FTR and Aussie Open. Okay, <laughs> I said I was a bit scared, but <laughs> well, AEW, the world of Mar of um, uh, spot fest matches. So. I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think they need, they're going to underperform, unless a rarity when it comes to that, by chance, but, yeah, was, I, well, I, yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to like that, because I, I was, well, trying to play also the game, but, uh, was looking at other stuff, so I kind of wasn't, uh, paying attention, didn't really care for that, so I guess we also gonna get, when it comes to this match, you know, trying to take my attention somewhere else, elsewhere, but I just want this uh, pay per view to be over. But uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully it don't go to twelve. But I already know it's gonna go to twelve. But I mean, yeah, like, compared to like other times, 
they for sure got their time managed. I think it's starting to get a little better with that. Thank goodness. <laughs> Especially how much many matches they got on that fucking card. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, like I said, uh, definitely, uh, I guess it still kept me occupied. And I, it still kept me occupied. And probably like, uh, what, for the fucking umpteenth time, we're going to get FTR and Young Bucks, the Young Fag, Fag Fucks. Yet again, because like I said, Tony Khan sucks off the young fags back in the back. <laughs> now you know you multiple holes, but uh, yeah. Another match. Let's get to the uh, yes. Let's just get to the main event, please. Listen up, AEW cuckolds. You need to listen up real good. What Christian and Darby just did out there. What they did when it comes to Christian too. What they did went and go get out there. Is what they that's professional wrestling. That's fucking professional wrestling right there. That is what you call. Now what just Brian Brian and Xavier Jr. did, now with any other fucking matches I did on the card, what Kristen Cage and Darby Allen just did. That's that is a fucking match. <laughs> Just remember, remember that. that what Christian did right here. This is how you fucking do a match. You tell a story. You get the psychology down. What they did out there. This is a, f a professional wrestling match. And, none, and above none better. That is what I fucking call wrestling right there. And it will nothing will never ever top that. <laughs> we do get that out the way. Oh wow. Wow, just wow. With Christian, Christian and Darby, wow, just just a beautifully told artistic match. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I can, I don't know whichever way to put it. That was that was fucking incredible. It's just simply that was fucking incredible. Then definitely one of the best matches uh, that I can say of this year. Definitely is going on my all-time list. <laughs> that that was a match. That was a match right there. It, it, I said it, it goes and it goes back. I said it, uh, of course, uh, especially how you get when you have these sort of. I didn't even know how it was gonna play like that. This is supposed to be a mid-card title match, people. For <laughs> for real, you could even tell like put. You could even one would say you could probably even make it a case for a, for a lower card match. But for them to also have had the main event, AEW doing something right. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. AEW at least doing something fucking right. Especially for for the person that they got signed there. Christian. For the, definitely, both, for both of them, but you know, definitely deserved for them getting the fucking main event. Because that's a star right there. That's a champion. And <laughs> Definitely, they did it like when it comes. They did at least they did something right. Tony Khan doing something right. But yeah, let's, yeah. Of course, they start off slow. A match. You get. A, I don't think it was really that anything crazy within the uh, with the moves. But then, yeah, then when they get to that, yeah, when he get to that because he tried to do it the first time. I don't know. It kind of looked like a almost like a bosh to me. But, uh, cause I know, considering how he, Christian is getting up there, but, like, yeah, I don't know, it looked like he kind of struggled a bit to get him up there, but, he, yeah, Christian, he did not what he said to do, he, you know, the uncle, you know, the mom stealer, the uncle, <laughs> the uncle crusader, now he's going, he used to go after dads, now he going, he's going after people's dads, I mean, he's going after people's uncles now, <laughs> he's moved on from dads. Yo, know, he just yeah he <laughs> dear that ending he fucking annihilated Darby Allen. <laughs> he just took him to school. It just completely he just after because he after he did that that like that body slam on the steel steps. Then he just as they're like because yeah pretty much they sell him they're taking him away on the stretcher and he's just he just does a four fifty yeah there was yeah no a frog splash right. On the fucking, <laughs> he does a splash right on the stretcher between Darby, and it's like this man is over. Like what? And it's like he's performing better than your favorite indie fucking darlings. <laughs> How the fuck does that work? Wow, that's that was yeah, that was crazy right there too. And then 
like of course he starts ripping up the, I think I think yeah I think after they were pulling him the stretcher he starts yeah he starts ripping up the fuck he starts ripping up the match about he starts ripping up the ring and yeah and then the, yeah he does I think he does another like a 450 splash just completely just destroying and just making almost trying attempting to make Darby into a blood splatter stain and yeah like <laughs> then Nick Wayne comes out and he just, of course, yeah, he's like, they get, uh, Derek, he let, he's uh, letting them get it all in, Darby. So he took my mom, he touched my dad, and all that, and of course, Nick Wayne, he turns on Darby Allen, hits him square face with the title, with the TNT title, right in the face. And, yeah, <sighs> well, uh, wow, I said, I, I, I knew I saw that coming, he definitely, uh, knew I saw that coming, bro, but, and, you know, of course, times it goes on. Then further, of course, and uh, Sting comes out. Uh, like I said they start he he beating them. Nick Wayne is beating Darby Allen. Christian got him after he won the match. Then Sting comes out, comes down, gets his ass beat. <laughs> They're fucking him up, stopping him into the ground. <sighs> I mean, props to them. Edge comes out. <sighs> Everybody's screaming. Pops go galore. And yeah, Edge is it's, wow to, for him. Yeah, uh, wow, because he had me going there for a little bit. For not, I know, because yeah, I know for a reason too. They put this is the main event too. Wow, they really had me go. Edge really had me go. Had did a whole video too, and they, yeah, he's like, no, I didn't do anything yet. We just didn't do anything yet. WWE, but yeah, Edge is now he's on a fucking AW. <laughs> And I guess he's dead. They're gonna be. He's gonna be now entering that story with uh, Christian. And but yeah, Edge is in AW. I guess they can. Y'all can fawn over that. The AW cuckold can fawn over that and bust nuts over that. We we got Edge WWE. We got you Idris. Yeah, I got, y'all can have fun with that. <laughs> I said I can really give a fuck about that, but when it comes to that. AEW still trash, but uh, yeah, that was uh, this was. Let's say I'm taking this match, and this is definitely wow, gonna go in history. Who would have thought? Uh, like a, a two, a mid. Well, I can't really say that because there's been matches like that, but wow, for an instant, like wow, I just I'm completely shocked. And yeah, like they went out there, wow, instantly the fucking best, the match of the night. <laughs> The match of the night, bro. And I think Christian just had one of his all-timers, bro. This is why he is the way he is. And he is a legend. An actual GOAT. But, wow. What a fucking... What a fan... I can't say it enough. What a... Just a master class of a match. Christian, absolutely, for sure, too. And Darby Allen. All props goes to both men and everybody involved. And yeah, like I said, I'm definitely uh, waiting, interested in uh, going into Dynamite uh, next this Wednesday. And just with AEW, wow, this is this. Uh, well, yeah, definitely. Uh, this I guess this yeah it turns out to be well for this match especially. Yeah, I guess AEW West for Dream is better than it turned out to be better than NXT No Mercy. Yeah, I'm calling that right. Yeah, no West for Dream is now better than yeah uh, No Mercy. But, uh, well, yeah, for sure. And I'm going to have to get this, yeah, fuck, five stars. Yeah, for sure, five stars. And for the match, Christian and Darby Allen, And for the whole pay-per-view, uh, I'm going to, I'm yeah, I'm going to give it a, uh, yeah, I'll give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Yeah, for the whole pay-per-view, 8.8 .8 out of 10. But, Wow. Definitely got my time's worth, my money's worth. That was fucking awesome. I enjoyed myself, and I can't wait to uh, for one else's opinion tonight. And I hope y'all have fun too. Enjoy the rest of your night.